Welcome to Court Case with me, Judge JD. The guys will be given a hot topic that they have to argue for or against, and then I will make the final ruling as to whether or not it's a hot take. Look, this can get heated, so that's why you have to get the gavel involved. And once you hear this gavel, it's over. And that means court is firmly out of session. Down in the Bay Area, I think something very special is accumulating. I think people aren't really paying attention. I've watched their start to the season, which has been, I think, a lot better than most people would think. And I think also, when I'm looking at the additions that is due to come back, and we're talking about, of course, Clay Thompson. <laughs> I was about to say the San Francisco Warriors, can you imagine? <laughs> the Golden State Warriors will be something very, very special. And I'm actually gonna go a little bit further and say that when Clay comes back, if we get 75% of the Clay Thompson that we all know and love in this league, who should have been on that top 75 list, I'm making this very clear. And I want this out here first of all. <coughs> the Warriors will be going to the finals. I want that out there very early. The Warriors like will be going to the finals. BJ Armstrong, as our resident oh. out there on the West Coast. I know oh. you tell me I disrespect a lot of the West Coast teams that yeah, maybe don't get can... the attention they deserve. But you tell me how you feel about that statement. Well, Judge, with all due respect, you're disrespecting the game right now. You know, you're <laughs> saying a guy who has been out is coming back. Hey, look, I love Clay. I, I, I'm, 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 no one here is a bigger Clay fan than myself. However, he's coming back from an ACL and he's coming back from an Achilles injury. And we're saying if he's 75% now, once he returns to the court, you know, Clay right now is going to have to ease his way into this game. Offensively, will he be able to shoot? He will have nights. Hopefully, he will show signs of what he, you know, once did and he did it effortlessly throughout his career. However, he's coming back from not one, but two significant injuries. I think it's going to be very difficult. I think he's going to try. If the Warriors are going to be the Warriors that we're talking about, I think it's going to be the following season. Once Clay can have a off season, he can have an off season in which he's not rehabbing. So it sounds good. I think the narrative is, is, is it's, a, it's a great take. It's a hot take. But however, you know what? I don't think that's going to happen this year, guys. Well, I have to go to Josh because you got Steph in your all-time list, right? Am I correct? Yeah, oh, okay. So that's one half of the Splash mm -hmm, Brothers, mm -hmm. correct? Oh, so I'm guessing you feel the same way because I watched his MVP campaign last year that he should have and potentially maybe could have won. But how do you feel about this hot take? If Clay does come back, the thing will they is be going how, to the finals? Yeah, things as Clay's going to come back. Like as he said, like it's you know it's difficult to come back from you know two injuries like that. However, if Clay can come back, you know on somewhat form like you know he kind of left like they've got a nice little they've got a nice little setup there you know like they've got other pieces looking to come back as well soon and you know if, if they all get on the floor and they get healthy as well i think they've got a dangerous little lineup they've got guys already like that's you know hooping and uh i i want to say like if steph keeps doing what he's doing clay comes back you know wiseman comes back i I really like what they're doing. I think they're gonna. I think they can get through to the final. You know what I mean? They got Wiggins. He's ready to do his thing. They got Paul. He hooping like when he's ready. Um, I like it. I like it. My guy. I know this guy right here was smiling as soon as he heard James. I, I heard too. I, I heard a lot. I see John. I saw you shaking your head immediately when you heard man and heard that take. So you turn man and tell it's, me why you feel that way. It's just um, we're not putting things into perspective. Like we have Ellie Lakers, you know that pretty much assembled a. A Space Jam team, like you know, what I'm saying you got AD, <laughs> Westbrook, Howard, still got destroyed LeBron, the for the opening, you know, like. um, you got Utah, you got Phoenix, you know, these teams are, you know, like let's not get it twisted, these teams are proven teams that go deep into the playoffs, and then with with, with um, the Warriors, I just don't think they have enough firepower around Clay and Steph, you know, like BJ said, it's going to take Clay, it might take him the whole year to get back to being himself. Mm. Also, you know, Draymond Green lost a step. Iguodala's lost a step. James Wiseman's still injured. You know, you got Wiggins, but he hasn't really proven himself. So I just, just I mean, they're just not a great team right now. And Clay, you know, he's a great player, he's a great shooter, but I don't think he comes back and makes you into a contender. Like, he just doesn't turn your organisation around like that. Either. Okay. That's fair, but I think there's something that we're forgetting, and that's something called continuity and understanding and appreciating the system. Right there, that Warriors DNA has been built for, let's say, the better part of a decade. And you have players in there that are buying and understand exactly what it's about. And Clay Thompson would be top of that list. So you turn around and tell me, how do you feel about this hot take, Double M? 
Well, if we're doing court case with Judge JD, any great lawyer just goes to whoever's paying the highest retainer fee. So I don't really know which side to pick on this. My options are open. It could swing either way. But if you want my honest opinion, my biggest concern with Clay Thompson returning, I'm not worried about him on the offensive end. Clay's going to come back and he's going to score the basketball. My concern lies on the defensive end because the reason the backcourt of Golden State works so well is he takes all the defensive pressure off Steph Curry. He takes the assignment of guarding the other team's best point guard. So he will guard Damian Lillard. He will guard Ja Morant. He will guard Devin Booker. If he comes back and he's not there defensively, then I have big concerns for Golden State Warriors. Also, if we're talking about going deep into the playoffs, they've got James Wiseman, who's still pretty much a rookie, given how little he played before. And they've got two new rookies, Kuminga and Moody, to integrate to this squad. Mm -hmm. They've got seven new additions in the offseason. Iguodala is not the same Iguodala that we saw playing defense on LeBron James back in 2016, exactly. 2017. That's the, he's had to say Iggy's not, he's not that same guy. No, no, he's, no, he's Iggy, not that guy. Iggy's not that. Trust so, me. Not the guy from Miami, not the guy from... What, what guy in Miami? <laughs> I'm just asking, I'm, a, I'm asking a question for the what jury. What guy in Miami? You know, I like Bayelitsa and, and Porter Jr. I like what they've been added. But when you look at those Golden State squads that won championships, everyone, obviously, the headlines go to Steph and Clay, but... Look at the Sean Livingstons, mm. the Andrew Bogarts, the Leandro Barbosas. Yep. These are proven veterans who have been in the NBA, extremely high IQ basketball players. They've been around the league and then they all teamed up in Golden State. And I think the depth of that squad often gets forgotten about. And, you know, Draymond, in fact, before the season started, was saying that this isn't a championship team for the Golden State Warriors. Now, you could make a case, though, because Stephen Curry... If he gets hot, he only needs to win four games in a seven-game series. You should never count that man out. Clay Thompson, he doesn't even need a whole game. Give him 12 minutes on the <laughs> basketball court. He can light you up for 40 mm -hmm. points in the quarter. But it all depends on how Clay looks on the defensive end for me. That's true. That's what I'm waiting to see. Because I know he can still, he could be 80 years old and Clay Thompson is still going to be lights out from that nice. corner three, from that wing three. There's never going to be a time in life where Clay Thompson could be sitting down even if he can't run around, and he's still going to be money. But it's on the defensive end that I've got my concerns. Josh, has, have they changed your argument or your feelings whatsoever? Because I'm seeing a three versus one. Right nah. now, you're in, a, you're in a box right now. Yeah? How you working that's your cool, way out of this? That's cool. Nah, I haven't. You know what? Like, they don't have a lot of pieces right now. And obviously, it's early, yes. You know what I mean? It, it is regular season, but Steph's, do, Steph's doing the business. So, like, with the, with the additions coming in, I think... Don't get it twisted, they might not be the favourites, but can it can it be done? Yeah, I definitely think it can be done. And they've got the one thing they've got that a lot of teams like maybe don't have, they've been there, they've done it. Like Steph's done it, Draymond's done it. Like they've got that mindset and in sports, mindset's everything. Whew. I like that statement. Mindset is everything. That is a very big statement. Trademark. <laughs> but I have to turn around and be honest. And if I'm going to be honest, listening to the disrespect that BJ tells me I give to those West Coast teams all the time, maybe I might take a little bit of a U-turn on this take and turn around and say that maybe the Warriors won't make the finals regardless of if Clay comes back.